Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well today. We have got a long-awaited review of what is, I think, the missing link that we have been waiting for for Anhydrus, and that is some really good quality toolbars and tanks. We've obviously got a lot of maps in FS22 that already have Anhydrus built in, but we haven't seen any toolbar mods up till now. There have been a couple of converts that haven't been done particularly well and haven't worked that well, but now Colin's custom modding have created some brilliant converts of the Benke TB60 and TB38 toolbars plus the dual and triple tanks as well. So we're going to have a quick look at these today and as you can see they are fantastic. They've done a great job. They've been working closely with Scooter's Workbench and Loki79 as well to make sure this works fantastically and also uh, they have released a version of Precision Farming that has got an Hydrus incorporated into it as well. So you can start to get readings through Precision Farming working with these toolbars. So we'll have a quick look at that as well. I'm going to put a link to their itch page down below. And the great news is that these will be released on Friday the 10th of June at 5pm Eastern Time. So keep an eye on their itch page for these being released. So without further ado, let's jump into the shop and have a look at some of the options we've got with these. So you'll find these in their own section as well within tools, which is quite nice. So in the anhydrous ammonia section, we'll talk about those tanks in a little minute, but this is what you get. Two toolbars and two tanks. So let's straight away jump in and look at the TB60, which is the larger of the two. Um, and there you go. Lovely in black. Nice to see. Uh, this does have the Raven injection system added to it as well uh, for injecting that NH3 into the ground. So um, really, really nicely detailed and finished. Um, the great thing about this that uh, has changed from the 19 version, which was that very bright blue color, is you can now choose your own favorite colors. So we've got it in the black, but obviously then John Deere, Class, Fent, Case, Massey, Versatile, New Holland, Challenger, and JCB. So lots and lots of different options to choose from, uh, which I think people will like. And that blue's been toned down slightly as well, which is which is nice to see. Um, so really nice. Uh, not many options other than that, but uh, looking really, really good. And the same is uh, true of the TB38. Um, slightly smaller version. But again, all the color options that uh, we had on the larger version there. Now, when it comes to the tankers, we've got the three tank version here, which holds uh, 16,700 litres. Um, you've got some nice different wheel options here with Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT, Vredstein, and back to your Michelins. Frame options as you were with your toolbars as well. So you can colour your frames to how you want them to match your toolbar or your tractor. Uh, and the same with the rims, you've got a few options in here for red, black if you want a case option, uh, but some stainless and aluminium options as well, which are nice to see. And something I think looks fantastic are tank colour options. So you've got the white as default, but check out this brushed aluminium. How nice does that look? Really, really nicely done. All the decals really nicely placed on these as well, I must say. Um, and again, the other option is stainless steel. So a lot more shiny, but looking really, really nice. Um, they've worked on all the maps on this. The dirt maps are a lot uh, more improved on the shadows from the originals. Uh, so great, great work all around on these. But that looks fantastic. And likewise, on the dual tank version as well, um, slightly smaller capacity, uh, 11,130 litres. Uh, but the same colour options for the frame and the tank and the wheels as well. So lots to choose from there. So there you go. We've coloured one up in red for case. And we have uh, used Carl Farms' new quad track that came out this weekend, just passed. And we have coloured up one in Challenger colours and put it up with Custom Modding's Challenger, which also came out in the Mod Hub this week and looks fantastic with the LSWs on. So, great example of how you can uh, 
color code these to match your vehicles if you want to do that and we've also put the uh, stainless steel tanks on this one which i think look great now of course uh, we are on green valley here today which has anhydrous already added to it as a map now I will say after using Fusion Simulation's corn harvest add-on mod the other day, um, you can also use these if you add that uh, mod to a map that doesn't have anhydrous. Uh, these will work as they do on any map that has anhydrous installed. So good to know that all of these are working together and complement each other. And I know all of the modders that have been working on this stuff have been talking and uh, communicating to make sure everything works, which is fantastic. So, uh, I think what we'll do, we'll give these a little run, uh, let you see how they look when they are working. Um, but for that, we need some anhydrous. So, um, again, just to give you the complete package, this is part of the pack of trailers that came with Central Ohio Modding's Deer Creek Farm very early on, um, which I think was probably one of the first maps that had anhydrous uh, built in for FS22. They're conversions from 19, but very, very nicely done. So I'm going to put a link down to uh, those on Central Ohio Modding's itch page as well. So you can go and grab these. They work really, really well. There are three options. And again, in the anhydrous ammonia section, the large one that we've got here. We've got this pop. Which is uh, slightly smaller. And we've got this shorter tank. So again, depending on the size of your farm, you can uh, sh select different versions. Obviously, there's a rear hitch on this as well, which is nice. So you can hook the pop up to that one as well if you want to do it that way. So we'll jump into the truck here. This is Carver's Kenworth 108 truck, I think. Uh, one of the nicest trucks we've got in game at the moment. Um, so what we'll do, we will head up because the anhydrous fill point is just up here. So we will grab a full tank here and we'll fill up both of those tanks and we'll take them for a spin. So here we are back from the fill point. I am going to just pull this off the road here. Like so, and we'll go and get in our tractors. Now it's worth noting with this, you see this side, no pipes on this side pipes on this side so this is the side you want to unload from always on the left with this trailer so let's get in the challenger first let's have a look at the slightly smaller version what we'll do we'll just loop out of the field here pull up next to the trailer and then this field just to the left here it's sitting with stubble so we will just uh, dive in and let it run so i've just hit the r button there and as you can see filling up with anhydrous and you'll see also in the top left hand corner that precision farming has recognized that there's anhydrous in the tanks and it has pulled up a nitrogen anhydrous ammonia application now we're not in a field yet but as soon as we pull into a field it will read the values that are required for that field so just for clarity here field 36 and 35 I have bought uh, as you can see we've purchased the soil maps for them as well um, so we will know what amount of uh, nitrogen is required when we go into the field so there you go tanks full to 100% so what we'll do let's run around to here let's get it unfolded as you can see down there on the minimap, I did do a test before we started filming, so the little splodge of green there. But as you can see in the field at the moment, our nitrogen is looking rather red. So let's get lined up with the edge of the field here. And all we need to do is turn things on. So as you can see, 130 kilograms per hectare required at the moment. So we will spool this up by pressing the B button. We will lower it down, and as you can see, we get the nice new texture there. And if you look down into the mini map in the bottom corner, we are getting green as the anhydrous is applied. And you can see it ticking down as well in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, usage obviously depends on the soil type. 
and uh, you'll be able to see the application rate up in the top right hand corner as well using precision now of course if you don't want to use precision you don't have to either it will still count as a fertilizer uh, application as per normal so um, you've got that available to you as well but uh, there you go anhydrous running through precision farming with these lovely two bars and tanks simple as that I have to say they look great and it's nice to be applying anhydrous as intended I know we've had a couple of sprays and things adapted initially just to get uh, uh, the option of getting anhydrous into the ground but it's really great to see some legit toolbars doing it as well now isn't it so um, really pleased to see as you can see our application rate's gone up there and the green is going a lot darker 160 kilograms per hectare there but it's ticking down relatively sensibly in the tanks these are big tanks obviously you know 11,000 litres in this one um, so you're not going to need to fill them up that often as well which is great of course we have to have a look at the big one as well don't we and how good does it look with the uh, quad track new quad track from Carl Farms so again what we'll do we'll loop around and we'll get this filled up at the tank there we go just filling up from the main trailer uh, we'll not fill this one right up because um, we know we're not going to burn through all of it uh, but we'll let it fill up a little bit but uh, yeah in, in terms of a complete solution now for anhydrous this is uh, this is really great great to see um, I think the truck and the uh, articulated trailer really add to it as well of course if you wanted to as well um, you saw with the corn harvest add-on pack there's a lovely uh, storage tank that you can put on your farm as well so you don't always have to be mobile with it so again uh, keep an eye open for that mod coming out soon as well and uh, yeah the options available to you now are uh, are almost limitless so really good to see right that'll do 63 percent Let's roll down to this bigger field down here that I have also purchased and bought the soil map for. So we should see the same results as we get down here. We'll just pull off in this flatter section here. Get the toolbar unfolded and we're good to go. Nice sound as it unfolds as well there. There we go, we're into the field now and you can see we've got the red for the nitrogen telling us that we need to add some in. And as you can see, this is a big toolbar now. This this will cover a lot of ground, so again, we've got an option. If you love your big fields, you've got a big toolbar for that option. And there we go, with half a t oh, well, 64% of a tank full there, you're on basically the same volume as you would have got in the two tank version, so lots and lots of storage space in this so fire it up lower it down and away we go simple as that and you can see the anhydrous ticking down slowly in the bottom right hand corner and up top left there you can see it adjusting 150 kilograms 145 120 115 as it moves through the different uh, soil types Let's get straightened up here. We've got quite a long piece of the same uh, soil coming up, so there we go. Up to 170 kilos per hectare. Looking really good. So there you go. Like I said, these are released this Friday coming. Um, so Friday the 10th of June. Colin's custom shop itch page where you can download these is down in the description below so go check that out make sure you send them some love on their Facebook page they've uh, worked incredibly hard on this and they've uh, had some brilliant support from Scooter and Loki79 to get these running uh, and looking as good as they do so um, hats off another big win for the modders um, that's it hope you enjoy them Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.